Hi everyone, this is Angie. I'm going to try the new microbrew today from Tupperware. I've had it for a while now and I haven't used it. It's actually a really nice sized container. It's not very heavy. It is not dishwasher safe. So please don't do that, but you don't need to. It's got a non-stick surface on the inside. And the lid is the same way on the other side. There is a protected seal around there. Um, my understanding, which is like I said, I'm gonna try today, um, to cook like a casserole or something on that, you put the lid uh, this way. If you wanna cook to where it grills, like how you grill outside, you lay it flat on top of the, the product. So what we're gonna to do today is I'm going to try uh, this chicken breast and let me quick grab uh, my little spatulas here. I'm gonna do a chicken breast in it. And I'm gonna do the mayo on the top real lightly, it's a bit much. Just kind of go over the top of it rub it in a little i did clean the chicken breast already and then i'm going to flip it over before i flip it over i'm going to season it real quick with czar czar is a wonderful spice it's z-a slash a-t-a-r smells wonderful it's a uh, it's got lemon in it it's got uh, sesame seeds, basil, it's just like tons of different little spices and I made bread with it, that's how I got to find it. And it's wonderful in here. And then I'm gonna take some uh, potato flakes and put a little bit on the top too. Not a lot, just a little. That'll help brown it, give it more of a crunchier taste. You know, and then I'll flip it. I'm not trying not to cross contaminate anything. Then I'm just going to put the rest of that little mayo, spread it over the top really lightly. You don't really need a whole lot when you're, uh, you know, just using it for, instead of an egg substitute, which that's what mayo is, is oil and egg, so whatever. But that's what they say. So again, I'm going to use the jar. Sprinkle that on the top. I'm not using no salt in it. Um, they say you can, but I'm not going to. Oh no, you cannot use salt in it because it'll uh, make it to where it like, gets pecks in it or something. I'm not positive on that. I'll have to get back with you on that one. So I'm just gonna pat it dry a little. It looks good, huh? I, I'm not spraying this. I'm not oiling it or nothing. Now let me flip that over again and get that patted down one more time. Then I'm gonna set this, that side up, down. So the breast top is down. I'm gonna get rid of this real quick. That's my hand. A little bit of salt. Raw chicken is nothing to talk, mess with. It's got cross contamination, it's horrible. We've all been sick on it. All right, so I'm gonna place this right on top to where it goes right on top and I'll show you guys. Okay, it's right on the top. It's still wobbly, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put it in my microwave. Oh, don't look at that microwave. It's dirty in there. Just like that. Let's put it on for four minutes. Stuck. Now, I don't know if it's going to be done in that time or not. But I doubt it, but I'm just going to flip it over so I get the grilled mark on both sides. I'll be right back and show you when it's ready. Okay, so I just took it out of the microwave. Let's see how it looks. This is only four minutes, so. Oh, it's looking good. I am going to turn it over. Be careful not to burn nothing. You see everything okay? Smells wonderful. Mm, smells good. I'm gonna put it in there. If I put it like that, that would be the casserole setting. Oh, that lid is hot. Don't touch the lid. I'm gonna put it right back on there to get the grill setting. The sides are not hot at all. So 
Let me put that right back in the microwave real quick and I'll put it back on for four more minutes. So what I'm gonna quick show you was that recipe, uh, those chicken breasts, these are the ones that don't have pesticides in it or uh, antibiotics in it. So that was just one chicken breast in there. For my other meal, I'm gonna prep this chicken breast with, I'm just gonna throw in some goodies to marinate it. Um, garlic that I had crushed, two nice cloves, nice rosemary. Mm, and I'm gonna scrub it up a little so that it gets the smells going in there. Shove that in there. Pick that one up. A little bit of buttermilk. What this is gonna do is this is gonna make this uh, chicken so nice and yummy. And uh, the meat will stay white, you know. When it's cooked, it'll have that beautiful white textured chicken in there. And then you kind of Roll it up the best you can without getting too much air in it. Shove that down. And then just roll it for a minute, a second, you know, just a second. And put that in the uh, refrigerator and it can marinate overnight or for a couple hours, preferably overnight. So um, tomorrow I'll probably try something new with my stack cooker um, and we'll go from there. Okay, I got two more minutes on the grill time, so I'll be back with you. Bye. Okay, I just took it out of the microwave. Smells wonderful. Get that out of the way. Ooh, get that away from my face. Set that down for a second. Mmm, the smell is wonderful. You ought to try that herb. It's so good. It's called Czar. Turn it over. I don't want to puncture it yet too much because I don't want it to go in a little bit, a little bit longer. Just because I think it's too thick, I might just let it sit here for a few minutes and see how it goes. It doesn't look pink inside whatsoever, but it's not a few, probably two more minutes I'm going to go on it. But oh my gosh, smell of vision. Yum. Smells wonderful. So I'm gonna put the lid back on. Hear that sizzle? It's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna get it out of the microwave. It's hot now. You hear it? it smells really good. Ooh, it's browning up. Beautiful. I only stuck it on for three minutes. Look how beautiful brown that is. Check underneath. Nice and brown. Yum. I think the cooking time is done on this. I'm going to set you down and use a knife and check it. But I don't, I want to let it set for a few minutes. I'm going to let it set for probably like five minutes to make sure all the juices go back in the chicken. It's cooked, I know it's cooked, but I don't wanna make a dry chicken breast by cutting it open to see, oh hey, it's pink. So I'll bring you back in five minutes, I'll set the timer and we'll be right back. I'll show you how yummy it is. All right, so it's cooled. Oops, I gotta shut this light off. Not that, that. There, now you can see me, I don't look like an angel no more. <laughs> so this is cooled. Let me put you up a little bit farther so you can see it. There you go. Looks scrumptious. I'm gonna slice it now. It's all uh, beautiful white in the middle, all the way through. I'll slice it on an angle. And this is gonna be part of my lunch and if my daughter stops by, she can have some. Look at how beautifully that slice, it's cooked perfect. So let's see, four minutes on each side. Then I did three minutes on the one side. It's browned, it's tender, it's juicy. I did let it sit for, oh, about four and a half minutes to get the juices to render back up in the meat. See how beautiful that is? Mmm, very good. So good. 
That is really yummy. I'm going to show you how easy cleanup it is. See if you can see me. It's hot. The lid is hot. I'm going to use hot water. I have dish soap in here. This washes right off nice and beautifully. I'm going to set it on my towel here. So I got there. That's all the juices that came off that meat. You see that? Unbelievable. I really do love this thing. So easy to clean up. Like I said, you know, I have this soap on here. Washes right out. Rinse it. And voila. That's it. I hope you liked my video. I know it kind of seemed a little long. I'm hoping not. Um, the Micro Girl is new in our uh, catalogs this year for Tupperware. If you are interested in learning how to get one, get a hold of me. Call me, uh, message me, do something. As your Tupperware consultant, I can sure help you get it or try to get it for free or half off. Either way, but look at how beautiful that is. Cleaned up nice and easy. Um, really small. I can put it right on my shelf in the spare room and it's perfect, easy to grab. I can, I love it. Tupperware just amazes me. So, yep, that's what's in our house today. That's what I used and um, show you how I'm going to use my proportion I already had a little piece so I've got I'll show you this way I've got an Italian Greek salad there uh, broccoli salad there and the chicken breast as always thank you for uh, taking time out to watch my videos I hope you liked it I will let you know on the uh, chicken breast that I've got uh, marinating with the buttermilk and the garlic and the rosemary yum that's going to be a really good recipe keep tuned and i'll talk to you later have a good night bye